Big thanks to Will Cady. Uh, Chess, what, what are you taking away? I thought this was interesting. Look, don't be afraid of anxiety. Um, it's going to lead to some good stuff, but you have to flip the thinking about this. Instead of, oh my gosh, it's about me, um, you know, maybe, maybe the, you know, the world is crazy around me and I can be that eye in the hurricane. Yeah, I, that struck me as well. You know, we often say, it's uh, interesting, I was just presenting a couple of days ago, and, you know, you and I present all the time. And, uh, we often have people come up to us and say, well, do you still get anxious? And I always say, yeah, every time. I, I figure if you if you stop getting anxious, you probably stop caring, you know. So, so I get that on the little anxiety piece. To be able to take the big anxiety and flip it around, I think that's, that's a real... Uh, that's a skill that I think we can all develop. You know, instead yeah. of the skies falling, I, I love when he said, there's a really good idea coming. And I thought, wow, yeah. you know, to look at that as anticipation. Kind of like when you're at the top of the roller coaster hill. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right before you drop off the end. I, I, of course, and you pointed it out, I loved when he said gratitude is free energy. Yeah. That, you know, at the top of the inhale, that's where you uh, feel the most grateful for all that air and all that goodness. And, and that really struck me as that's a great way to think of gratitude is when you're lacking in energy, you know, get into a grateful yeah. state of mind and get some free energy. Well, I love how it connected to his breathing exercise, too. At the top of the breath, that's the, yeah. the pinnacle of gratitude and really being mindful because many of us, we've talked about breathing exercises on the show before. And, and you know, I mean, honestly, nothing new there, except that we a we need to keep hearing it and re repeating it because we forget. And B, I liked his thinking about, look, this is a reset of the nervous system. And are we being grateful as we're breathing in? Just even grateful for the air we're breathing. You know, just terrific. Very zen. Uh, I remember back in college, I think it seems like everybody was reading Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Maintenance, yeah. Yeah. And we read that. I remember reading that book and not understanding half of it. But realizing, yeah, there's something there's something profound in here that uh, getting in touch with ourselves and being a little bit more uh, mindful. Yeah, really brilliant. The last thing for me, and it was the construct, the Greek construct of time, mm -hmm. Kronos and Kairos. That Kronos is the measure, and Kairos is the experience, and we should be more mindful of the Kairos. And are we experiencing good things every day? And and journaling about it, writing it down yeah. and getting that head trash out. You know, I, I, I've got, uh, well, I was going to say 100 journals, but it's more like 40, which is, I think is still a lot. Um, and, and it is. It's very cathartic. And it does get the head trash out. You know, you write about the good, you write about the bad, and hopefully you leave it on the page. So some really practical, um, some practical advice. I, I think the title of his book is interesting, Which Way is North? You know, yeah. kind of get your bearings on life and get that zen going i thought he was just a delightful guest yeah and i think that idea too we didn't dive into it too much but yeah our north is our true north our what's our purpose and it's, it's amazing how so how few of us really think about what is our purpose why are yeah. we here <laughs> and uh, and really pushing that a little bit and thinking about it so great great uh, session big thanks to will uh, big thanks to our producer brent klein to christy lawrence who helps us find amazing guests like Will, and to all of you who listened in. If you like this podcast, please share it, download it. We'd also love you to visit thecultureworks.com for some free resources to help you and your team culture thrive. Yeah, and of course, we love speaking to audiences all around the world, virtually or in person, on topics of culture, teamwork, resilience, gratitude. Give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about your event. Well, Adrian, one more podcast in the box. Hopefully some good, uh, good uh, you know, practical tips there to help us tamp down our anxiety, anxieties and live a, a better and more full life. Exactly. And oh, by the way, don't forget to pick up a copy of Anxiety at Work. As the holidays are coming up, Chester just makes a great <laughs> holiday gift, uh, Christmas, bar mitzvahs, uh, whatever, you're, whatever you've got going on in your life. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, I mean, take your pick, really. It, Anything, it's, uh, really. You know. it's, it's a great gift for any time. Yeah. <laughs> great. Well, listen, as always, Adrian, I'll give you the last word as we close out another wonderful conversation and podcast. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us today. And until next time, we wish you the best of mental health. Mm -hmm.